Nice, loud, clear voice. What was the image you were thinking of? Tree. Have a look. No! <laughs> <laughs> All I ask is that you draw something that when we all see it, we will recognise. And this has been filmed, so don't need to go there. <laughs> uh, so you're going to draw it. Here is a, here's a pen now. You can uncap the pen. You're going to draw it on here. You're going to draw it on here, nice, big, bold and clear. You're going to take this, write it. When you're finished, hold it really close to your chest so I can't see it and so no one else catches a a glimpse at it and then let me know when you're done, so take that for me. Good. I also wanted to be away from the person whilst they drew the picture or wrote the number for a magic square or whatever you want to use this for, because I felt that if you can talk to the audience and, and seem like you don't care about that, it gives off the impression that you're not interested in looking at it, which of course you are, because I presume you can't really read minds. <laughs> uh, I also wanted to be able to talk whilst they drew or wrote or etc, because this eliminated other methods, thank you, this eliminated other methods such as pen reading and etc. So you finished? Yeah. It's close to your chest. Yeah. I then wanted to take a picture and to place it facing away, so I'll take it from you facing away, into an ungimmicked padded envelope. You don't want no one. Have one last look at it and focus specifically on how you've drawn the lines that make up the picture and also how it becomes unique to you as a, as a performer, as a person, yeah. and what it says about you. <coughs> take that. I then wanted to be able to give it back to them so you could hold it close to your chest. Um, because to me, I, I did think, and I still do think, that's a really strong image of security. I was going for the kind of... Test condi What's he doing? Um, the test conditions. <laughs> Behave, no. I was going for the, the test conditions approach. Of, it, it faces away the whole time. It's on an opaque board. It goes into an ungimmicked envelope. And these are all true statements. And I think with Reveal, we got pretty close. And I set myself these conditions and this kind of visual sequence because to me right now, if you could know the, the picture or the number to get ahead for a magic square or for a one-ahead routine, uh, you know, whatever you want to use this for, if you could know that information now, it would be very real seeming, very fair. I think with Reveal, we got really close. So think about what you drew now, um, and imagine redrawing it on here. Think of the, the first, uh, first line, look over there, don't look at me. The first line you would make, everything down here. We do this, do something here, something at the top. Okay, good. No, we're gonna we're gonna switch. We're gonna swap. So don't peek at mine just yet. Keep it secret. This is important. Good. Don't look. So for the first time, tell everyone uh, what did you draw? What were you? Wine ball. A wine ball. A terrible. That's a lot about no as a person. And then turn mine around and show everyone what I got. Oh. There we are. <laughs>